What is going on, everybody? Depraved Slash here. We are back with another music reaction on Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hella Depraved. Yes, we are. I'm super excited about this. So, we missed being able to do a reaction to Aaron Keese's last song that he put out because it was a remix. Right. So we did it during our live. <clears throat> right. Really enjoyed it. He did a really good job. Excellent job, yeah. Um, Aaron Keese is a fantastic country artist. Country hip-hop artist. Not right. country artist. Just artist. Artist. Uh, I've I've thoroughly enjoyed everything I've heard from him. No, he's he's done a fantastic job with everything I've heard from him. Uh, a lot of remixes to begin with, and then that was like our I think I our, really enjoyed. Like, so we had him. I think it's like C ranked. C C yeah high C I think. I think we had him C ranked in our tier streams because most Not of what he had was remixes. Yet. Yeah, yet. But uh, again, that was a good, what, seven, eight months ago now. Right. So he has definitely come out with some originals since then. They've all been incredible. Um, I'm glad this one is out now. Me too. And yeah, so he sent us a, me a message, what, Sunday? Something like that. And we don't record on weekends. And so we're here now. We're here now. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to react to this as if you guys have already seen it. If you have not, please click the link in the description below, hop on over, do all the things, and then come on back. Definitely make sure you sub, especially right. if you enjoy this. And hit the like button. It yes. doesn't cost you anything. Um, and we say that because we are a breakdown channel. Right. Uh, or commentary. You know, honestly, we just talk. That's what we do. <laughs> There's pauses. So, with that being said, no more waiting. Hmm. This is Aaron Keys. Nice play. With waiting. <laughs> Let's get it. I be in, I be in, Yo, Dina, you that I be in the woods waiting for a motherfucker too. Come and knock me off, come and take a shot, come and try to change your ways. And I was fucking tough. Yeah, I know we don't play around here, boy. Don't go gambling with more than your career, boy. Come and knock me off. <laughs> Okay. He came in swinging. Came in with the catchy <laughs> chorus. With the catchy chorus. Nice bass. Nice. Definitely one that's he said, going to. He's like, don't come in here car. gambling more than your career. I like that. <laughs> I will fuck you up. All right. All right. I'm all right. waiting. And I like the I like the beard thing you got yeah, going a little on. Scruffy, you know. You know. Nice. <laughs> yeah, the way to play around. Don't go gambling with more than your career, boy. Let me tell you right now, shit has really got to stop enough. Pussy ass rappers making rap a little box about the poop school and boogie like bricks are done. Other rap game along, head country boy, do see going in this lane. Place up the country, cause it's. <laughs> hey! There's nothing wrong with long hair. That is true. That is true. I mean. Some of us can grow beards. Right. I, I can't. say something about long hair being on. So I got to grow it other places. Face. Right. Right. There you go. <laughs> so John of the rap came along, head country boy, don't see doing in this lane. Place up the country because this new shit just don't cut. He got fake out lost by the dozens. This is what the mainstream comes up with. And they expect us to love it. And they just sit back and roll with the fucking knockoff version and pretend that they buzzing. I'm a rider that you fight a fight. You say my name, you in my side. And all day long you stay inside while I'm living. To right. be fair, a lot of us are inside. Right. Because we're mandated to. However, if you're in the country, not that many people around. I'm just wanting to give him shit, baby. Right. I, I kind of caught that drift. I'm just saying. It's fine. It's fine. But I did like how he say, you know, you're in my sights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Nice little double there. <laughs> You say my name, you in my side, and all day long you stay inside while I'm living the shit you write. Yeah, and I'ma keep doing what I do, and I'ma keep waiting for a motherfucker too. Come and knock me off, come and take a shot, come and try to change your ways, and I was fucking tough. Yeah, I know we don't play around here, boy. Don't go gambling with more than your career, boy. Come and knock me off, come and take a shot, come and try to change your ways, and I 
I love when artists do this, where they end the verse in a way that transitions straight into that transitions into the chorus. Yeah, and it like tells the story. I don't know. It's, it's I like it. Well, it's it's a nice transition, like versus just oh, and here's the chorus again. Right. I I agree, and I I think it's funny that this is you know, mainstream is giving us shit. Telling us we should love it. You know? I honestly think that about most genres. Mainstream. Telling us what we should and shouldn't like. Yee. I'm not saying that all mainstream artists are crap. I'm just uh, saying that they are trying to steer our ideas on what makes a good song. I think... Here's what I don't like about mainstream. I don't think necessarily mainstream music is just inherently bad no not at all because there's tons of mainstream artists and or bands that i have either liked or still really fuck with right eminem ti lincoln park breaking benjamin right i mean they're all mainstream bands or artists and i still thoroughly enjoy them i think the problem with mainstream is when a certain style catches on they try and force it down everyone's throat. That's what I meant by they're trying to steer the direction we think. Right. You know. So prime example being trap music. Right. Current trap music. Not always been that way. Because T.I. was technically trap music back, back in the when, day. Yeah. But it's evolved in, or devolved into what it is today. <laughs> um, But trap music. A.K.A. Mumble rap, which there are people that are tired of hearing that term used for it. But let's face it, that's kind of what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And I don't <laughs> like that, like, just because one or two songs really took off that way, that now, now trying it. they're shoving it, everyone yeah. that does it, down your throat. Yeah. And it's like... No, no, one or two songs was enough, honestly. There, there are other people that, yeah. you know, like other kinds of music, other forms of hip-hop that, you right. know, you could throw on the radio. And so, yeah, I just... I, I don't think the music itself is inherently bad. I just think... I Again, I, trends, think, I think it's the it's, steering of us in a direction that I don't like at all. Because I agree, there's plenty of mainstream in any genre right. that is good music. But they get overshadowed a lot by the trends and therefore the stuff that mainstream controllers are like, oh, now you're going to listen to this and nothing else. And it's right. like, ugh. Aside from the independent artists that a lot of them are fabulous, there's a lot of mainstream artists that are fabulous and don't get played anymore because In fact, this is the new fad. Fabulous is fabulous. Right. <laughs> Just saying. Hold it up like I'm about to go rob a bank I'm just living out the words <laughs> Made famous by old Hank Country boy can't survive Matter of fact, bitch, I thrive Ain't nobody doing shit to me while I'm still alive Pipe was flowing like I'm at the way So waving in the ocean And I'm fluid in the shit That's why I always stay in motion Every line, yeah, bitch, I wrote it And these lyrics are handwoven And a lace and like this part That always sends me supernova I get lost in the stars When I'm thinking about my future And they say it's hard to reach It's why I'm using more the boosters, yeah Boy, <laughs> in my pen when I write shit And when I drop it's like an asteroid just hit come and knock me off come and take a shot come and try to change your ways and i was fucking tough yeah i know we don't play around here boy don't go gambling with more than your career boy come and knock me off come and take a shot come and try to change your ways now i think it would have been funny to see him do a music video for this right and say he was sitting up on the edge of his truck rapping and then one of his buddies that were there with the filming came up and pushed him into the cab right bloopers. or into the bed we need bloopers and be like you told me to knock you off bitch <laughs> takes off running. I did like his ocean scheme there. He had the ocean and then talking about being fluid and this, that, and the other. And his cosmic scheme as well. Right. Like, he, he has some nice schemes. We didn't miss him. I was giggling the whole way through because I just... I, I enjoy this kind of, like, broad spectrum come at me. You know, where it's not actually a beef track with a single person, but it's just sort of a... I'm waiting. Come and get me. Right. You know? <laughs> I live with more than your career, boy. Come and knock me off. Come and take a shot. Come and try to change your ways. And I was fucking talk. Yeah, I don't wait to play around here, boy. Don't go gambling with more than your career, boy. It's funny.
money. These other rappers flex about the cash. I'm wearing the same clothes that I used to have on up in class. Mama's call. Get three yeah. verses. Yeah. That's how it's That's how it's done, done, boys. <laughs> These other rappers flex about the cash. I'm wearing the same clothes that I used to have on up in class. Mama's car feeling badass when I park. Other students looking at me with their snobby ass remarks. I'm that redneck, I'm the kid riding with the bad bitch. Got that motherfucker jumping when we pulling that drive in. Ate a white slap in. Same kid from way back when I rattle dashes. Now it's me out the speakers that I'm hearing. Yeah, the game was never ready for me to come and how I came. And I guarantee that when I'm done, they will know my name. Yeah, till then, yeah, you know where I'll be. Waiting in the fucking woods for them to come and stop me. Mm. <laughs> All right. I liked that. Me too. Me too. I liked that. I definitely like that. I'm wearing the same clothes I've always worn. Like, it's not about the cash. It's about the talent. It's about the love for the game. Right. And I'll still be in the woods. Like, that's still still where I belong. That's great. Yeah. That was... I, I really enjoyed that beat, too. That was a sick beat. I'll be in the woods... I won't. Of Crystal Lake. Yeah. I mean, like, that might be acceptable. I am past the point that anything but glamping in the woods does not really appeal to me. Uh, it depends. I do a log cabin. But I consider that a form of glamping. Like, it's not camping, per se, if you're not, like, in a tent or whatever. I just want a legit bed. Yeah. That's, I mean, I'm asking for a legit bed and an indoor fire. The rest of it I can, I can pretty much deal with. Well, okay. One of the things I do love about camping, camping, which I would still do in an RV or whatever, mm -hmm. driving by the woods. I do like sitting outside by a fire. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm just talking about if we're staying in a log cabin, I want heating. Right. I don't necessarily need like heat and AC. I could do an indoor fire. All you need is me, baby. That's true, but you have to pass out first. Like, you fall asleep and your your body goes, you know, absolutely <laughs> supersonic in Nuclear. terms of the heat. Yeah, but, you know, I, I RVs are fine. I just want a legit bed and to be warm. Yeah. The Not last, out in the elements. Last time I slept in a tent, <clears throat> I said it was the last time I will ever sleep in a tent. Yeah, the fibro is not kind to my body, and being almost forty, I'm I'm not doing the sleeping bag. I'm just not doing it. Even with these uh, memory foam mats that they're like, oh, they're great. No, they're not great. No, I can still feel the rocks. Call me Princess of the P. Not doing it. So yeah, I won't be out in the woods. Although I do legit love the woods and everything pretty much involved with it other than sleeping on the ground and spiders so, i don't have a problem with them i will put up with the spiders in the woods though kind now of. that you have somebody that will kill them for you or remove kind them of. from your vicinity no no <laughs> if i pretend they're not there and i don't mm -hmm. see them mm -hmm. i'm okay uh-huh until I wake up and it's time to start packing things up and I find one on my sleeping bag. Oh. Then I freak the fuck out. I could see that. It's happened. I mean, like, I'd be amused, but I can definitely visualize it. Yeah. I don't have uh, As a matter of fact, fun story. Uh, Ex-wife and I and the kids camped out in the backyard one day. No, oh, no. It was her mom's backyard. And I woke up by myself. Everyone had done waking up. Gone off on their Gone off ways. to go back inside, do what they do, eat, whatever. Right. I wake up and I decide, instead of going inside to see how everyone was doing, I was going to go ahead and start packing everything up because we weren't going to camp again. Right. And I was like, the sooner I get started on this shit... It's just done. It'll be done. Yeah. And I find the spider that's about this big on my sleeping bag as I'm rolling things up. I threw the sleeping bag into the tent, just screamed, no and ran in the fucking house. <laughs> and... Her mom looked at me and was like, what's wrong? I was like, we could have fucking died. <laughs> and after I told the story, they laughed at me. Uh, well, yeah, rightfully so. I was terrified. <laughs> but. Yeah. I would have laughed. And then packed shit up for you. Or at least gone out there 
and freed the spider so that you could pack the shit up. That's what kids are for now. <laughs> True. True. Great job, Aaron. We enjoyed it, like always. Um... <laughs> oh, you went, is my yeah, I'm, I, it's your turn. Did a fantastic job, homie. <laughs> Honestly, I love when you drop new things, especially when they're originals. I mean, yeah. remixes are fun. They are fun, but your originals are you, uniquely you. Yes. And like I said, this was a killer beat. Yep. I like the whole attitude behind it. And, you know, there's there's always improvement. Always. True. Like True. to see it. All right. So with that being said, if you guys like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below. What did you think of Aaron Keats with Waiting? Also a little bit disappointed it wasn't a track about the movie waiting. No. But that's a personal preference. Okay. Kidding. I don't by think I've way. seen it. Totally kidding. You have seen it. Have I? We've watched oh, it. Oh yeah, together. yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm old. Anyways. Check the description below for all the things. <laughs> Push our buttons. Come join us on our other social media platforms, mostly Twitter, if you want a quicker response. With that being said, we love you. Thank you all for watching. Cannot wait to see you to pray for people later. Peace.